Hola. 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 Wake up, Nathan. No. <laughs> He's early, way early. I just did. 6.30? Is that what you said? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Rebecca's early, too. Yeah, I'm I all mean, right. I'm just 7.30. What time is it? You? 6.30. Oh, 6.30. Oh, Jesse. What time is it where you are, Rebecca? 7.30. They're only an hour apart. Yeah. yeah. And it's 5.30 p.m. for me. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> so if you ever yeah. want to know what tomorrow is going to be like, just ask Nathan and Rebecca. <laughs> and Rebecca. <laughs> <sighs> it wouldn't be so bad if I wasn't up. So I was up till midnight. So. Ah, oh, fine. yeah. Because I usually, I'm a morning person, but I just don't have, didn't have enough sleep. So. What's that German class? Yeah, I had two German classes last night. Two? Oh, wow. Yeah. One after hours? Or? Are you teaching them? No, I, well, I teach a German class. I taught a German class yesterday morning. Um, Jesse was there. But, oh, um, Jesse, you're but doing great I, on this, huh? Yeah. <laughs> She's got I the bug. This. I love it. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm Jesse, addicted. your Spanish was sure good today in that other class. Didn't you feel good about that? <laughs> I did. I did. You know what? I, I really want to uh, let you know I, I appreciate the kindness of your grandchildren because, you know, I'm, I'm an old lady sitting in on a class and, uh, but they always include me and they're always, they always say, oh, Jesse had an idea and I'm going, no, no, no. It was in the breakout room. <laughs> don't, no, don't ask me. <laughs> but th they're always very polite and, and nice to me. And, you know, to see that in younger people, that's very refreshing. Yeah, they're wonderful. They are. They're teaching a class. Oh, really? Oh, they're fabulous teachers. Kelsey and who else? Who else Tyler. Tyler. Okay. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah, they get high grades from as teachers wow i'm sure they're better than a lot of 90 percent of the foreign language teachers in america oh yeah they're just really good this is the only way they know is how to learn a language so to them it just comes yeah, natural yeah it, it's like learning the, their mother tongue yeah, yeah that's right yeah so they're they have the feeling of going slow that most foreign language teachers, they don't have that feeling that you've got to see strong and healthy language. I think Nathan's got that as Nathan is unusual because he's so quick. And yet when he teaches, he goes slow. Uh -huh. So he looks for that. We call it strong and healthy. What that looks like and feels it's like. It's hard. Yeah. It's hard at first, but you get used to it. You get yeah. used to seeing what they can do. That's why. Jesse, today, I boy, I thought she had a great day in that other class. That was, that was and really good. Don't don't jinx me for today. <laughs> 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 I don't know if you've been there, Blaine. When I've I, I kind of had this uh, analogy for for language teachers, where I've been noticing as I learn more, if I acquire more Spanish and more German, you know, all these languages, I've been noticing that it's like there's this reservoir of language and the more that fills up, the stronger you have to make your dam to prevent your language from go becoming too much. So like when I knew very little Spanish, it was pretty easy for me to just go slow and give limited language. And I didn't yeah. feel much, I didn't feel much pressure because I didn't have a huge reservoir of language trying to push me forward or push me ahead. But now as my Spanish has gotten, well, as you I've do gotten that more Spanish. Class. Yeah. You, you push this class. Right. So I feel this uh, strong pressure that I have to, I have to, 
um, make my dam stronger or I could just, you know, yeah. the, let the floodgates out. So as a teacher, I have to know how to let out a trickle sometimes yeah. and then open the floodgates and then close it again. And it's really a weird feeling of this pressure because I'm not uh, native in any of these languages, but each language it gets, uh, I feel more and more pressure to go faster as I acquire more language. And that's what I felt as an English teacher and why I didn't really like teaching English with TPRS because it was so hard to keep the language limited. And I felt this weird pressure like they must be bored i have to move on yeah, you like gotta remember they, back yeah so well, nathan did you did you learn spanish strictly with tprs yeah what about your german seems like you said you had no german i had right? six years and i had four in high school and two in in college nathan was our real superstar here he after 60 hours he and chelsea took an oral proficiency interview and they tested an intermediate mid after like a nine weeks of school. That wow. should, the, they say that should take seven years of school and oh they did goodness. it in a quarter. And Mina did intermediate low in a, just about the same time, which they say should take four years. So what they've done is, wow. is amazing to see. It is, absolutely. I did yeah. that in Portuguese and got this, it's an intermediate four, just a little bit higher than intermediate med. And I did it after about 60 hours. And I'm not a great, I don't think I'm anywhere near in language learning like Nathan is. I mean, I know I'm not, so but I you... speak Spanish, which is why I can yeah, do. What's helps. your opinion of the two classes, Jesse? This one versus the morning one. Um, the morning one is, it's obvious that they, they are, they're just so comfortable. Um, yeah. and they just rattle it off. And if they don't know a word, uh, or a profe, you know, what's the word? Uh, <laughs> but I say, I, I had the unfortunate thing of learning from a book and trying to, to, to learn a little bit and all of mine's been sort of self-taught and I've taken you know, a lot of free stuff online. So I know a lot of crap about Spanish but I don't really have any organization and I don't have strong roots. Uh, yeah. So, um, but I think that the morning class is, they're very, they're just very fluid, just very fluid. And so is this class, I think. Yeah. This class is very fluid. And the, the beginning class, um, of course, you know, I miss most of it, except on Tuesdays where I can go to the whole thing. Um, but that group seems to really be coming along too. I mean, they're doing awesome. They got, they got, they're getting the grassroots down. So I, I love the philosophy of- It shows the method. <laughs> it shows, it does. Um, it, it's just amazing to me. And I guess, I, I don't know if you've got like a, a template that you follow for each language or what but it it's just it works whatever it is i don't, I don't know what you're doing but it, it works <laughs> yeah we do a lot of teacher training and then we're teaching classes more and more so we're going to see what fall is like we want to get you know we we want to expand this into other countries and other teachers and you know we like to hire a thousand teachers and can we, can anybody take that teacher's class or uh, yeah, I mean, heck yeah, even, even, even if you, <laughs> you know, I'm not, you know, I'm past teaching age, but um, I have little grandkids. Uh, so no, you um, could take the class and you'd be a good teacher. You could, you'd be great. Okay. No. So is that at tprs.com or uh, tprsbooks.com is TPRS our books. training. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mina and Nathan are in our, what do you think that class has been like, Nathan, for and me? Yeah, I'm looking forward to TPRS University, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's, I, yeah, I think it just gets better. You know, we, we learn how to do it better. So. That's great. Anyway. Okay. Let's see. Uh, oh, we got to read. 
Oh yeah. I got Oh yeah, we got to talk about the polar bears. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I couldn't yeah. even remember our story, but now I do. When you talk about <laughs> those polar bears, that was pretty funny, really. It was. Well, this is a long story. Isn't this amazing? How many? Yes. How many words it is for just our little lesson yesterday? I know. Okay, who wants to read? I'll read. Okay, Jesse. Anyone else? Okay, Jesse, Rebecca, Mina, Elodie. Do you want to read too? Okay, we got four readers. Nathan, you want to read? Why not? What can no? Okay, we got everybody reading. So okay, you want me to Jesse, a, par a par paragraph and then let the next person? Yeah, well, yeah, do, do a paragraph at a time. Okay. Um, there is a boy named Bruno. He lives in a village, a small town. Um, the town is named Hog Kamek. He lives in the street. He doesn't live in a house because he doesn't have a house. He has a car, a green car. Um, it is a Lamborghini, a green Lamborghini. It's green because he has a cat that is named Richard and Richard has a, a favorite color. It's green. They, uh, he likes everything that's green or all things green or the things green, green things. Um, he likes uh, to eat broccoli. It is his fa f favorite food. Bruno uh, lives with two with two uh, polar bears. His situation uh, this it is a situation very sad because the bears the polar bears are not are not living. They are dead. Okay, go ahead, uh, Nathan. Read the next two paragraphs since they're small. Okay. Uh, when Bruno was five years old, Bruno's mom gave to him. Well, this is a good one him, for you to read. This is yeah, your part. Right. <laughs> <laughs> to him, she gave the two polar bears. Now we know that the polar bear is his favorite animal. The polar bears called yeah, that's an error. themselves. That be, uh, Polar K should be separated. It should be Y polar oh, bear. It's yeah. just a typo. Go ahead. Yeah, I did that in my last story too. Yeah. <laughs> like three or four times. Um, the polar bears themselves, they called Sheldon and Melvin. Bruno passed a lot of time with them. Okay. Uh, Bruno, he said two. Yeah, that's two. Okay, that's Rebecca. No, it wasn't. He only did one. Yeah. Oh, was that only one? He only yeah, did that was one. Only one okay, go ahead. Do it. Keep going. <laughs> uh, Bruno had five photos of the polar bears in his car. Richard was very jealous of the polar bears. Um, he didn't want to play. Uh, what's what are they? Polar bear. Volleyball. Uh, he wanted to play, Negative. or he didn't want to play uh, Monopoly with them. It was a very sad situation. Okay. Now, Rebecca, One that. Day, Richard uh, was working uh, in McDonald's for people uh, in Hog, Hog Hammock. Uh, there, there's another McDonald, but it was uh, just uniquely for polar bears. Richard um, didn't have extra money. Um, therefore, he went to uh, the McDonald number two and got a job. Um, he like he likes her job and. It was, it was a unique. Mm, it, he was the only cat. Oh, okay, okay. He was the only cat. It is McDonald's. the word unique, but unique yeah. means the only one. Okay, okay. I was thinking he was the unique cat, 
cat. Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay, so you can read half of this one since this is so long. Okay. One day, Sheldon and Melvin uh, decided to go to eat in a restaurant. Generally, uh, they eat in Polar Bear McDonald, but that day they decided to go to McDonald for people. When they went to the restaurant, Richard was working. Richard saw an opportunity to kill those uh, polar bears. Richard um, put a little bit of yes, uh, is took. Took? Oh, yeah. took a little bit of poison. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, and uh, uh, put the poison in. Yeah, it was special the... poison for polar bears. Okay. Oh, I almost thought that was English. No, it's like, venom. It's, 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 yeah, <laughs> oh. I thought you were trying to explain in English. I didn't realize it was Spanish. No, yeah, it was and Spanish. Then, okay, and then put uh, the poison in two burgers. Okay, uh, Mina. Sheldon and Melvin received their hamburgers and ate them. Then they ate. Then uh, they ate, yeah. They, they know that the hamburgers had poison. Within it's they were dead. Bruno um, also was working in McDonald's that day. He's, he saw all, all, everything. But he saw everything, but he did not see Richard when he put the poison in the hamburgers. Bruno did not know um, how. how Br they didn't were know how the two bears died. Okay, how the two bears died. See, okay, Bruno uh, could not believe it. Uh, he saw the two bears and started to cry. Is that correct? Yeah. He cried for 22 minutes. Poor Bruno. Do you want me to keep going? Okay, uh, Elodie, do you want to finish it? So in the village, also we have a group of uh, polar bears. Um, they were very active. Uh, they played a lot of sports, different sports, such as um, basketball, or polar bear basketball, polar bear tennis, polar bear golf, and polar bear volleyball. Uh, Bruno uh, played a lot with them because they were his favorite animals. And also when they played, uh, they all uh, wore uh, uh, green shirts. Um, the polar bears uh, were living in a hotel. He fell, um, uh, landlord, so it's the owner um, of the hotel was Donald Trump. <laughs> and the, um, the polar bear was the, the uh, favorite animal uh, of Donald Trump. And the hotel uh, was called Hotel of polar bears of the polar bear of the polar bears the hotel had only nine uh, rooms or nine apartments nine rooms. rooms but um they had 10 polar bears yeah there were 10 polar bears yeah, there were 10 polar bears um eight uh of them 
uh, had their own room, but um, we had two polar bears. There were two polar bears and they, and they had to live in the same, in the same room. Yeah. Una situación muy interesante. Yeah, muy bien, clase, excelente. Uh, Nathan, describe la situación. Describe cuál es la cosa de, de la lectura. Lectura is a lecture in English, but it's a reading in Spanish. De la lectura, cuál era la parte más interesante en tu opinión? Yo creo que la parte que era más interesante en toda la lectura era el cuento sobre cuando los osos polares um, se murieron. Y yo creo que es muy triste y interesante porque hay un poco drama y hay un poco... Um, hay, hay un cosa muy loco porque... El gato, Rich, uh, llamado Richard, era, um, no era un gato bueno. Y, asesino. Sí, asesino. ¿Qué, esto, ¿Qué significa? El gato era un asesino. asesino oh, asesino. Ases, es, assassin. Yeah. Sí. Sí, un gato asesino. Sí. Y um, estaba... Estaba demasiado celoso uh, sobre los osos polares porque él quería, no, él quería uh, ser el animal favorito de Bruno, pero no era. Y entonces cuando era, uh, cuando él estaba trabajando en McDonald's y los dos Um, los dos, los dos, en, en, moment, that's German, <laughs> en, trarion, entraron, 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 oh yeah, easier than I thought, entraron en el McDonald's, uh, Richard vio una oportunidad para, para matar. matar, para matarse, para matarse. Eh, matarse es kill himself. Oh, para matarles, sí. para matarles. Y, y él no estaba seguro si era una buena idea o no, pero, pero tenía mucho... Uh, pasión, tenía mucha pasión y mucha rage y no... Rabia, no, it's the same word. Rabia. Rabia, R-A-B-I-A. Rabia, uh, mucha rabia y no podía, no podía controlar, uh, eh, no, controlar. No podía controlarse. Oh, controlarse. Y... y um, aunque él, él uh, sabía que es posible que no sea una buena idea, <risa> él, él, él hizo. Y hizo. Él, él tomó, uh, lo hizo. Él tomó uh, un poco de venimo especialmente para los osos polares y él puso uh, un poquito en los hamburguesas para los osos polares y después de que uh, los dos comieron y después de solo 10 minutos estaban totalmente muertos y, um, y Bruno vio todo y estaba increíblemente Uh, triste porque sus animales favoritos estaban muertos en solo 10 minutos. ¿Y ¿Qué piensas de la reacción del gato? ¿Cómo reaccionó mm. el gato al ver a los dos? ¿Se sintió culpable? 
o se, se sintió, sintió culpable. Culpable. Can you hear that word? Ah, yeah. Blame. Culpable. Yeah, yeah. Culpable. Se sintió. Se felt. Something se about sintió. himself. Se sentía. Uh, se sentía. Yeah. Se sentía ah, triste. Se sintió. Yeah, se sintió. Okay. Contento, super contento. Ah, uh, sí. Um, en uh, a primero, a primera. A al primer, principio. A, al principio. Um, se sintió. Se sintió. Um, se sintió contento, pero después de un poco tiempo uh, se sintió la culpa sí. sobre sobre que él él hizo. Sí, y... yo tengo información extra. Se sintió muy Tenía una reacción, estaba muy contento, pero después de 20 minutos se sintió muy culpable. Sí. Fue a la casa, comenzó a llorar. Lloró sí. dos minutos. Sí. Porque él, él, uh, él pensaba, es, uh, no. Él estaba pensando sobre las consecuencias de uh, que, que él De sus uh, acciones. Hizo. De sus acciones. Sí. sí, es cierto. Porque él piensa que puede venir la policía. Y... Sí, pero, pero ¿por qué? Um, porque a él, a Richard, a, a, a Richard... Um, le gusta Bruno muchísimo y él, él, piens, él pensó, él pensó sí. sobre la re reacción de Bruno y um, entonces su corazón uh, tiene mucho dolor. ¿Había de pain? No, dolor. dolor. Like dollar. Yeah, it's the word dollar, D-O-L-O-R, <laughs> just dolor. like dollar, yeah. one, one vowel different. Sí, mucho dolor, pobre, pobre gato, sí. Sí. sufrió mucho a causa de sus acciones. Sí. Y ahora tiene miedo porque puede ir a la cárcel por 20 años por matar Dos osos polares muy buenos, excelentes. Sí. Y él los mató. Era un gato, tenía problemas psicológicos, el gato, en mi opinión, yo creo. Mm -hmm. Jesse, describe la parte. Oh, Rebecca, yeah. Rebecca. Rebecca, pregúntame. Lo siento, tengo una no, pregunta. Ask anytime, and when you ask, other people have the same question. Uh, when you said, el gato se sintió contento y what's another uh, emotion of what? Se sentía contento, se sentía triste, uh -huh. sentía, se sentía, al principio se sentía uh -huh. muy contento el gato porque dijo, ja, ja, están muertos, pero después <laughs> se sentía culpable, muy culpable. <clears throat> y fue a su casa y comenzó a llorar. Lloró dos minutos. Can you type it? Because I, I, like, I can hear, but I can't, I can't yeah. visualize. Which one? Which right. word? Uh, except contento, like, triste. I know, familiar with that. Um, celoso. Celoso, I know, but like, yeah. do you have other words? Regretful? I don't know. Because I'm still not sure. Which word exactly? Uh, And cul culpa, culpable, culpable, culpable. 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 Yeah, culpable. Yeah. Culpable. Culpable. Cul culpable. Culpable. Yeah. Culpable in English is to blame. Guilty is the okay. word culpable. <clears throat> to be culpable. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, no es más común en in, in inglés. No, no es muy común. That's yeah. probably, Rebecca doesn't know that word. But... Exactly. <laughs> Exactamente. Exactamente. <laughs> Elodie, have you heard culpable in English? 
No, but it's the same in French. French. Yeah. 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 It's just a word. Yeah, a lot of those Spanish words like tend to be like rare um, poetic words in English. Yeah. Like I can't think of other examples, but there are a lot of common common adjectives and words that are used in Spanish that we <clears throat> use very sparingly or like to sound really fancy. Mm, exactly. I, I feel like I need to learn Latin to, to learn Spanish and English better. Wow. Yeah. If, if you were a native English speaker, it would be much easier. You have a big disadvantage where English is your second language. Yeah, yeah, but it's fine. I have an uh, advantage to learn Japanese and uh, <laughs> Korean, <laughs> so it's fair. Wow. And you even have, uh, even like uh, Mina and Elodie that speaks French, it's mm -hmm. even more of an advantage for them because they have two languages to draw on here that both okay. of them. I tried to get that writing. I, I couldn't find it, so. Here, and it's, I can write it up here. Okay, culpable is their word yeah, culpable. To, to blame. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's like dolor. In French, it's douleur. <clears throat> yeah. There's so many words. Dolor is pain. Culpable is to blame. Se sintió culpable. Did I spell it right? Is there an accent on the A? No, you did it perfect. Okay. Culpable is... Uh... It is funny, though, that... German is, you know, has the same root, or English has the same roots of German, but German is more difficult than Spanish. It is definitely more yeah. difficult than it's Spanish. It's a level two. It's it a level two. On, depends on yeah. what you learn first. Uh, German's well, a level two I mean, language, German's so. a level two language, and oh, is it? French, oh, okay. French, and French and Spanish, Spanish are level, level one. one. Yeah. I didn't know that. So culpable is to blame. Okay, it's, yeah, uh, I'll write that. Yeah. I was just writing culpable again, but yeah. I was like, <laughs> oh, it's okay. Oh, good. Only I, thought it, I thought it was guilty. And then he felt guilty. Is yeah, guilty right? is yeah. what it is. Yeah, Sorry. I, guilty is what it is. Okay. That's the better. Okay, uh, Jesse, describe la parte del cuento que, que tú recuerdas más. Oh. El gato, Richard, um, está, uh, estaba muy celoso. Sí. Los osos cel polares. Sí. Um, porque tiene que compartir um, el coche con Bruno y dos osos polares. Y un Lamborghini es muy uh, pequeño. Um, and y, um, Richard no, no quiere compartir con los ojos polares. Uh, con Bruno, sí, sí, uh, está bien. Pero no, no um, quiere compartir. Compartir con uh, los dos pol, uh, osos polares. Es una situación y, terrible. Sí. Y, y después de, de osos polares uh, muer, muertos. Sí. Uh, todavía en... en el dentro, el dentro, uh, el carro, sí, no, uh, no sí. sé, um, uh, pero el gato es un poco loco. So, uh, sí. es, es información extra porque los osos polares estaban muertos, pero el pobre chico Bruno uh, quería a él puso los osos polares muertos en el carro. Yeah, the, oh, there, the, oh, uh, the smell. No, no yeah. importa. <laughs> no importa nada. A mí, sí. <laughs> no, Richard, porque no él dice, oh, mis dos osos polares y están en el carro con Richard. Uh, yeah. Mini problema. 
creo, creo que Bruno uh, de, debería ben, vender su carro. Es un Lamborghini, es muy caro. Uh, yeah, I'm saying caro and caro. Uh, es um, un carro caro. Carro, carro. Uh, uh, si Bruno uh, would sell, um, vendería, vendería el coche, oh, sí, el coche, uh, el coche um, después um, Bruno uh, podría uh, comprar una casa y, y y put and put uh, y puso no eh, y pone uh, y pone los osos pola, polares in, uh, dentro uh, la casa es, buena idea uh, yeah. pero hay otra cosa que ustedes no saben uh, Bruno tiene perfume <laughs> perfume necesita sí es perfume que es especialmente para osos polares muertos. En la botella dice, perfume de oso polar muerto. Oh. Y es perfecto para, para Bruno. Es una situación es bueno. excelente. Excelente, perfume. muy bien. Rebeca, ¿quiere...? Perfume uh, significa... Perfume is perfume. Can you hear it? Oh, okay. Perfume sí. de oso polar muerto. Mm. Es un perfume muy especial. Mm, got it. Uh, me? Okay. ¿Cuál well, era la parte del cuento que te gustaba más? Hmm. Mm. Me gusta más uh, el parte que... El, el gato mató a los oso, uh, o, osos polares, pero, um, pero uh, el gato... Rebeca, sí. un momento. Tengo una, es una pregunta personal. Cuando tú escuchaste el cuento de, del gato que mató a los dos osos polares, ¿tú lloraste? Un poquito. Sí, yo, 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 uh, yo lo. Lloré. Lloré es present tense. Lloré es I cried in the past. Yo, yo le para un minuto. Un minuto. Oh, sí. Mucha, Rebecca, tú eres una chica con mucha compasión porque sí. tú lloraste por la muerte de los osos polares. Qué bueno. Tú eres tú? increíble, Rebeca. ¿Y tú? Um, yo llores. No, yo yo leste. Yo le, yo, yo, le, right, yeah. yo, yo lloré 20 minutos porque yo tengo una explicación. Tú Los eres osos, increíble. Sí, no es información extra. Los osos, dos osos polares, eran uh -huh. mis osos polares favoritos. Oh, ok. Yo haré okay. 20 minutos. Oh, ok. Sí. Es información extra. Sí, y a uh, uh, los, no, no, no los. Uh. El gato, yo pienso que el gato ahora uh, se sintió muy culpable porque ahora el gato um, tiene que tiene que ir a prison. Un momento, Rebeca, tengo una pregunta para ti. ¿Tú crees que el, el gato debe ir a la policía? Y confesar. Sí. sí, por supuesto. Mm. Interesante. Sí, y sí, uh, yo quiero otra opinión. Nathan, uh, ¿Tú crees que el gato debe ir a la 
policía y confes confesar de su crimen? Uh, no. Yo no, yo, ¿No? yo pienso que él no debe ir a los policías. Police. Por, uh, porque um, si, si él fue al... Uh, uh, how do you say police? Yeah, you know what? I can't remember. La policía is, I think, a policeman. El no. policía is the police force. The but police. I might have it revived. Let's just say, okay, how about la estación de policía? Yeah, do that. Say that's perfect. Okay. <laughs> Then you're right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> si, si él fue a la estación de la de policía, um, ellos, um, ellos lo pondrían en la cárcel. Lo, no, lo mataría. Sí. Porque, Seguro. porque él es un gato y si un gato tiene la culpa, uh, ellos, ellos le matar, matarían. Sí, matarían. Matarían, sí, matarían. Mm. Ok, Rebeca, ¿qué piensas de esto? No, 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 <risa> no te acuerdo de Nathan. ¿Por qué? Tú no estás... ¿Te recuerdo de No, yo? estoy. No, estoy. ¿Eh? ¿Quién se dice? En perfect. acuerdo, right? En acuerdo. Yeah, that's perfect. No estoy de acuerdo. I'm not in oh, agreement. de acuerdo. No, estoy de acuerdo de Nathan. Con. Con Nathan. ¿Por qué? O en, contigo. En, uh, o contigo. Porque en uh, Georgia hay un... Hay una estación policía para los gatos oh. y, y los gatos uh, y el gato uh, y el gato. ¿Quién hace el gato quien mató a los osos polares? Sí, el gato que mató a los osos polares. Es right. Oh, el mato that que... killed mm. the polar bears. So in Spanish, you wouldn't say the, the cat who killed the uh, os, I mean, polar bears. Yeah, it sounds better to say que. Okay, awesome. The cat that uh, killed. El gato que mató a los osos polares. Um, uh, oh my God, I forgot what I want to say. Uh, uh, es posible que uh, los personas no me uh, no, no le importa does it make sense no le mm. importa like yeah. the people don't care the people don't care no les importa mm. no, no les importa no les importa pero mm. para los gatos uh, los gatos uh, les importa mm. Mm. información muy buena en mi opinión, es información excelente. Mina, ¿tú quieres hablar de una parte del cuento? ¿Tu parte favorita? Um, no. <laughs> I'm just taking it all in. <laughs> ¿Tienes tú una parte favorita? Um, pienso que um, Richard... El gato, sí, el gato es un asesino sí. de oh. cuatro osos polares, no solamente dos, porque, oh. porque um, cuando Bruno es, estaba, tenía cinco años, um, uh, tenía dos osos polares que es muerto también. Mm. Oh. Y, y pienso que pienso que el gato Richard es muy celoso de los osos polares y no um, 
Richard uh, tiene problemas psicológicos. Sí, de osos polares solamente. Es un, es ah. un dato muy bonito, pero sí. no es bonito cuando hay osos polares. Tú, uh, Mina, ¿tú crees que él necesita ayuda médica? Un poco, solamente un poco. Sí. Yo creo que debe visitar un psicólogo diez veces y, y una hora y media cada visita. Porque tiene problemas. Yo creo que tiene problemas porque es un asesino. Sí. Muy bien, muy, muy interesante. Elodie, ¿qué dices tú? ¿Tú tienes una parte favorita del, de lo que pasó? Uh, creo que el cuento es un cuento muy triste y dramático. Y a mí me gustan los cuentos contentos. Oh. <risa> no. Pero, ¿En uh, serio? Yo, ¿Por qué? Tengo una información. Ok. Um, Creo que los dos osos polares estaban un poco uh, malos porque dijeron al gato oh, uh, están la, los favoritos de Bruno y tú estás uh, no Estúpido. importante sí. para él. Y la situación eh, estaba, era muy difícil para el gato y porque um, tenía problemas psicológicos, uh, no, no, puedo, no puede um, uh, hacer una acción uh, con razón. Elodie, tú eres una persona muy buena porque tú tienes compasión para el gato y tú entiendes el punto de vista. ¿Can you hear that? Sí. Punto de vista del gato. Sí. Porque muchas personas solo ven el punto de vista de los osos polares muertos, pero tú no. Sí, hay dos problemas para el gato. Su problema es psicología y uh, los osos polares muy difícil con, con él. Sí. Y los osos polares eran los animales favoritos de Bruno. Esto causó problemas, en mi opinión. Causó muchos problemas para el gato. Sí. ¿Tú crees? ¿Qué es así, Elodie? Sí. Sí, creo que la situación era muy difícil para el gato. Entonces, ¿tú crees que el gato debe ir a la cárcel? Creo que el gato uh, quiere ir a la cárcel para dos años y dos meses. Pero uh, no más, porque um, tenemos una situación um, uh, que explica uh, el hecho. Sí, hay una posibilidad. Si el gato va a la estación de la policía y confiesa, con, lo confiesa todo, entonces... Él tendrá que pasar poco tiempo en la cárcel, un máximo de 10 minutos. Oh. Y debe uh, de ver un profesional para su cabeza. Sí. Dos cosas. 10 minutos en la cárcel y 10 sesiones con un psicólogo. Buena idea. Muy interesante. 
Ok, uh, vamos a ver un poco más uh, de Bruno. Recuerda, oh, uh, ¿qué sabemos de Hog Hammock? Uh, Hog Hammock está en el estado de Georgia y es un pueblo muy interesante. ¿Por qué? ¿Cuáles son okay. algunas cosas que son un poco raras? de Hog Hammock. Hay dos McDonald's y yeah. un es para personas y otra, o, otro es para los osos polares. Sí, pero también es un pueblo muy interesante porque tiene un Walmart para osos polares y también hay otro Walmart para gatos. Oh, y, y otra estación de policía para gatos. Correcto, sí. Uh. Porque hay muchos gatos en Hog Hammock. Ah, y, y muchos osos polares. Sí. También hay otra estación de policía para los osos polares que tienen problemas legales. Porque hay... Es, es información extra. Uno de los osos uh, polares, Herbert, él robó una hamburguesa de McDonald's. Oh. Y ahora Herbert tiene problemas legales. Pero afortunadamente hay una estación para los osos polares con problemas legales. ¿Legales? Legal. Can oh, you hear the word? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Legal problems. I just can't connect them. Legales. Yeah. Okay, got it. You know, you, it's it's hard so, so many times. It's a mm. word you should hear, but you can't hear. And you can't hear until it's either written out for you or explained to you. You know, it's just, it's just the way your mind is. You can't hear what you can't hear. Yeah, you know what I realized? I, I'm, I've been watching some Spanish drama. And if I turn on the Chinese subtitle, it's so hard for me because I can't connect them at all. But if I turn on the English subtitle, it sounds so similar and it's just so much easier. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. So I think it, it's really, really good. I, I never noticed that before. And now because I'm taking class with you guys and it just everything sounds so familiar. Like, it's easy, much easier. Yeah. I like what I've been doing Netflix in Portuguese. You know, it's just, I like them, uh, I slow it down, the speech down to three, four mm -hmm. speed. And then that, it just helps me a little bit. Yeah. It gets stronger hey. and stronger, the language. Hey, Blaine, have you noticed that, um, like, oh, wow, you're doing Portuguese, but, uh, I've tried that with Spanish, but <clears throat> they say they may be saying one thing in Spanish. Um, yeah, they don't do that. Subtitles. <laughs> but the subtitle is a different, like, you know, they may say, yeah. uh, I like, but then, then the subtitle says, I love. Uh, and it's just like, oh, it's very confusing. So I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what I like to do with that unless I can find something that is truly word for word what whatever they're saying on the screen yeah <clears throat> which they, they i think do Uni a, a, univision does that but. yeah it's pretty interesting y uh, Hog Hammock es un pueblo famoso <coughs> porque hay una fábrica de las hammock de las amicas oh. sí. <laughs> amacas it's the word amacas amacas it's an easy yeah. word to remember amaca Amacas para fuerte. para osos polares. Por no. Oh, no. Okay. Para para los búhos. Cochinos. <laughs> búhos. <laughs> oh yeah. No, no. That's Pero. the whole point: is that Pero. they don't make them for hogs. Oh. They're called hog hammock, but they don't make them for pigs. Oh. They make them for for something Owls? else. Owls. You said búhos. Yeah, bulls. Bulls is bueno. Yeah. Hoo -hoo. In our other class, we had a lot of bulls. owl stories. Yeah. See. Baba bull. 
<risa> Era muy interesante. Ok. Uh, es, you know, solo tenemos cinco minutos. Cada persona tiene uh, un minuto para hablar de tu... ¿Qué piensas? ¿Qué debe hacer el gato ahora con todo esto? ¿Y qué debe hacer Bruno, el chico? Nathan? Yo, uh, yo creo que el, el gato necesito, necesita uh, escribir una nota para Bruno y él, él debe ir al otro país. Porque si él fue a um, si México, él, debe ir a México. Posiblemente. Y <risa> si, si, él, uh, si él va al, a, a la estación de policía, um, ellos, ellos, uh, ellos uh, lo pondrán. Lo, por ejemplo. Uh, ellos, ellos lo mataría y no, no es una situación buena para, para el gato y él no debe quedar con Bruno porque él, um, él les me mató los, a los osos polares y entonces... No, él no, él no puede quedar con, con Bruno porque él, él hizo, él, él lo hizo. Y sí, y yo no creo que él debe ir al México. Yo creo que él debe ir a Tasmania porque, porque en Tasmania él tiene una novia Uh, long distance. Y larga distancia. Larga distancia. Sí. Y entonces él debe ir a ella. Buena idea. Muy buena idea. Uh, Rebecca. He terminado. ¿Qué dices tú? Um, yo creo que de hecho, that means in fact, right? In fact, yes, good job. De hecho, good. Um, el gato es, uh, es Bruno, es, 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 um, es el uh, ama, ani, animal favorito. Oh my God, I'm so confused. I'm so confused seeing myself. Okay, let me say it again. Uh, yo creo que de hecho, el gato es uh, el, el ama, no, animal, animal favorito de Bruno. Mm. Ok, uh, un momento, tengo una pregunta. ¿El gato vivo es el animal favorito o los osos polares muertos? ¿Cuál? Yo, yo creo que el gato. Pero oh. el gato, no lo sé. El gato uh, solamente vio, uh, vio las fotos de osos polares y el gato <coughs> es, es, está muy celo, celoso. Pero uh, uh, Mila, Mila, um, Bruno, es, Bruno es, está llevando, llevando Uh, camis, oh my god, uh, camisa, no, well, how do you That's say right. clothes again? That's right, Roma. camisa, shirt. Okay, camisa ve verde para el gato. Mm -hmm. Y uh, el gato es stu estúpida. Mm -hmm. Buena idea. Y ahora el gato de, debe, debe ir a estación de policía. Y debe oh. confesar. Y Su debe crimen. confesar. Y no, no más Bruno, no más dueño. Sí. Mm, no más trabajo. Es interesante. 
Elodie, ¿qué dices tú? Yo creo que um, Richard uh, debe decir la verdad a Bruno y después debe uh, ir al mago y preguntar um, de cambiar los osos polares muertos en osos polares vivientos. Vivos. Oh, Elodie. Tú eres una Le, chica muy interesante. Sin magos no son uh, cuentos buenos. Sí. Sí. Un, un mago Sin es magos. muy importante. Si tú tienes dos osos polares muertos, el, el mago puede decir puff y los osos están vivos. Oh. Solo uno. <risa> Pero Neces, que... necesita tener dos magos para, para un oso polar re, resurrectar un <risa> dos osos polares. Yeah. That word's Porque really cool. Resucitar, resucitar. Resucitar, sí. sí, para resucitar dos osos polares. Porque un mago puede, uh, puede resucitar solo uno oso polar. Sí. No puedo dos. ¿Cuántos no magos dos? requiere para resucitar los dos? Dos magos. No. Oh, solamente dos. Yeah. Dos magos expertos. Sí, de necesitan ser expertos en osos polares. Y los magos son osos polares también. Oh. Sí, es un requisito. Si tú quieres res, res, resucitar a un oso polar, tienes que ser un oso polar mago. Y los osos polares y los magos osos polares necesitan, uh, necesitan, o oh, necesitan estar. Estar. Es, ok, necesitaban, uh, oh, there we go, Necesi necesitaban estar muerto, muertos. Sí, Jesse. Pero... El precio de mago es Richard tiene que tomar venemo por gatos. So, uh, así que Richard ahora es muerto porque se siente muy culpable. Uh, es muy triste, pero mm -hmm. ahora uh, los dos os, osos polares vi, 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 viviendo, uh, are living, uh, están, están vi, viviendo, están, están vivos. Están viviendo. Or you can say están vivos. They are están, alive. Están vivos, pero ahora uh, Richard está muerto. Richard tomó veneno? Sí, porque el mago di, dije, Richard, um, voy a hacerlo que request a uh, um, uh, lot. Um, I will give Pedir you. is request. Or que me, que me preguntas what um, you ask me. Yeah. Right? yeah. Pero, pero tú tienes um, que tomar el veneno. Mm. Uh, es una es posibilidad. El, mm. sí. es, el, es, el, es el... Muy triste. Cost. Sí, el, el precio. Costo. ¿Precio? ¿No? ¿Precio? Costo. ¿Costo? Yeah, costo es cost. Precio not, pri price. not the price. Price, the price of... Price the, is precio, costo is cost. Okay. So they're easy. Okay, clase excelente. Class, Celebración yes. para la clase. How many yes. weeks do we have left? Oh, I think 
So. Till about mid May. Okay. Wow. We'll see it. And then <laughs> what I'm going to do, uh, I think in the fall, is combine your <clears throat> class and the other class and do it on a Saturday morning or something just to keep them both going. Yeah. So you'll be right. with Kelsey and Vaughn. And that would everybody. be like, that would be like Sunday or Saturday night here. Yeah. Does that, is that too much bad of a time? Weekends aren't that great yeah yeah i don't know is the in advanced class um held in the weekend normally i'm just trying to do it for me because i'm right. gonna try yeah. and we're trying to sell these classes in the fall and so i'm going to do more classes so okay. there could be an advanced class during the week too hmm. okay i might awesome. do because i want to do three spanish classes so there might be an advanced class that you could join during the week yeah, i want to try and teach practicing. Uh, tuesday wednesday and thursday but i want to try and do some english classes oh. english to spanish speakers and uh english to portuguese speakers mm. so it'd give us just millions of people that we can sell the classes to mm. and so that's we don't know what we're doing but we're going to do something in the fall and get if you need any help with, uh, oh, you, I don't know, you're going to use Spanish and Portuguese? Oh, it doesn't matter, right? You don't rely on foreign language anyway. Yeah, well, we do, we do translation, so I just uh. translate. And so I could, I can do it in Spanish and Portuguese too. Okay. My Portuguese is getting good enough. I can teach the class, I think. Okay. I just want to say if you, I don't know, if you're using Spanish and Portuguese, maybe I, I can't help much. But like if it's targeting on, you know, all kind of people who want to learn English, English, I can help you with the Chinese media. Yeah. See, that's another thing. Because mm. I sure. saw you went to China to teach Spanish. Did you? Like on your YouTube channel, I saw a lot of videos. Yeah, I yeah, this school invited me to China every year till oh. last year till coronavirus came. Oh. Yeah, I watched those classes. Yeah. With, yeah. Uh, well, they were great classes. Yeah. But they were yeah, so I taught them English. Yeah, yeah. So it, actually anything like as long as you want to um, you know, Get more people to to know this method or your class. I mean, you can you can just post just maybe post some video in Chinese. I don't know Chinese platform. Yeah. Mm. We'll look at it. We might do that. Just think. That, have you ever heard of ABC three hundred and sixty in China? A ABC, sorry. I think it's called ABC three hundred and sixty. Have you heard of VIP Kid? Oh, yeah. Yeah, VIP kid, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Th this ABC 360 uh -huh. is a clone. It's the same thing as VIP kid. Okay. But anyway, I went out to their place. This guy mm. was, it was pretty amazing what he was. We gave him a TPRS presentation and it, it was, it was really interesting. But he, his business took in, a hundred and twenty million dollars a year, mm. and all I did was online teaching English in China. And he had thousands of employees. It was very interesting to see. We went there to try and get him to do TPRS and that. So we taught. I taught him Spanish. And oh, and it's just yeah. I just think it would be a huge market in China to learn no. either Spanish or English is bigger, I guess. Um, and I just think it would be very beneficial for all people to get to know this method. So people don't do, you know, robotic kind of learning anymore because it's really frustrating using a traditional way. Even mm. VIP kit, isn't that good? No. And there's, I belong to, a, I bought some lessons from a place called, it's like saySpeaking.com here in Korea. And I think TBRS could set up their um, community like this where you, 
you so you go on there and you watch a video of a tutor and you see like what they're like and their personality and you know that they had like an interview like a just an intro video and then and then students can just choose whatever teacher they feel like oh i like this teacher and there's some sort of write up on them and then you know they can go to their tbrs classes uh, where there's you know, there's just this online hub of teachers that they can scroll through and teach and there's ratings on the teachers and, um, you know, pe like students take surveys on how the teacher teaches and what they like about the teacher and so that people have a choice of teachers that they want to choose from. Um, and yeah, then the language that, and stuff. The website is prepay, I think, prepay or something. Uh, I've I've done it in Portuguese, mm. and you just go on and you they those tutors would charge everything from two dollars an hour to forty dollars an hour. Right. So I got this girl in Rio that would charge three dollars an hour, and I just went and talked to her for an hour, mm. and I did several lessons with her. Oh, really? Right. Wow. Yeah. Three three dollars. That's crazy. Yeah. Three dollars and. It's one on one, right? It was, I controlled the class. If she controlled it, she was a terrible teacher, but I got yeah. what I wanted because I controlled the conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I just want someone to talk to. And so we, we yeah. talked. She was wonderful. Right. She was wonderful with me because I know how to teach and I knew what I wanted. Mm. I didn't want to learn. She wanted to teach me wordless. I can't learn wordless. It doesn't help me. Yeah. Mm. She had these long word lists of food. I can't remember one thing on the word list. <laughs> right. <laughs> Understand. Yeah. Right. I don't learn yeah, that so, way. So something like that, but then there, you know, we're all TPRS certified teachers and, um, you know, the group classes and, um, yeah. I think that's what, I mean, I think that's what you guys are working for anyway, but. Yeah. We, I don't know. I, I don't know where this is going, but I just hope that we hire Nathan and that he is in charge of all of this and it grows into a hundred million dollar company and <laughs> hire all you guys. Well, you hopefully I'll be all. able to teach Korean for you guys by then. That's why I'm, I'm working on this yeah. Korean class. Rebecca, you know Korean? No. Oh, you said that earlier, Japanese. you said that Japanese. I have a chance to speak Japanese and Korean. Uh, I taught I taught so many Korean students before, and I realized oh. when it gets to advanced Chinese, 